When Sharon was finished with the picture, she handed it to me. But all I could think was, is that me? Because honestly, it didn't resemble me at all. The more I stared at it, the more I saw that it did. And it was like I was looking into my face for the first time. At the station where I worked, maybe 50 times a night, I would pass by the cigarette machine with the mirror built into it and sneak a look at myself on the run. But this was not the same thing at all. This was different. Damn. She was smiling when I finally looked up from the picture. But all I could think was, how did you do that? As I said, what I liked about Johnny almost immediately was I could really talk to him. Ever since Lisa moved out, I've been storing up all this emotion inside of me, just waiting for some poor unsuspecting soul to come along and be my captive audience of one. And now here he was. God, yes, this is perfect, I thought. Thank you so much. I can keep talking my heart out forever. And this lovely man with the beautiful grease stain on his T-shirt will just keep sitting on that rock and let me. The sketch wasn't particularly good, but he loved it. Oh, he didn't say that. He didn't have to. His eyes said it all like a child's when he looked up from the drawing and smiled at me.